Thank you. Thank you. What have you done? How could you eat someone else's provision without permission? Salam, and good afternoon to you, sir. May I speak to the owner of this garden? I am the owner of the garden. May I help you? Sorry to bother you, sir. Um, I am not from around here, and... I, I can see you are not from around here. You, you look exhausted. Please, do, come in. Oh, no, no need. I don't want to take too much of your time. No, please, please, come in. Come in. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Please, sit. Would you like something to eat? Oh, thank you very much. That's too much. You shouldn't have. You are my guest. We honor our guests. I appreciate your generosity. Please, help yourself. Actually, this is why I am here. I have been traveling for several days, and I was very hungry when I saw your garden. Without realizing, I took this fruit and I started eating it until I realized it was not mine. It may not be a big deal to you, but to me it is. I came here seeking your forgiveness. Okay. I will forgive you. <laughs> really? Thank you. I will forgive you with one condition. Oh, sure, no problem. Anything. What is your condition? I will only forgive you if you marry my daughter. Did you say marry your daughter? You heard her, right. <laughs> Wait. I want you to know something about my daughter. Please, have some fruits. You see... She is blind. She is blind? Wait. I am not done yet. She is deaf, mute, and crippled. I understand you might need to think about this. I have a guest room in the back. You should rest. I think you need it. Please, get some rest. Abbott, you are still here. Mr. Jafar, this is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. I can't believe that you are making me marry your daughter because I ate half a fruit. You have to understand that I can't allow a piece of fruit to destroy all my dreams. You did not have to tell me all this. You could have just left. But I would rather serve your daughter for the rest of my life then there was a sin over my shoulder. <sighs> Sir, I agreed to marry your daughter. Great! <laughs> Just in time. Everyone is waiting for you. 
Please, please come on in. Please repeat after me. I, Babette Norman, agree to marry Jafar's daughter. I, Babette Norman, agree to marry Jafar's daughter. Sorry, I apologize. Wait, Tabit. You are in the right room. No. It can't be. My wife is blind. And deaf, crippled, and mute? Yes. Where is she? You're looking at her. But Jafar wouldn't lie to me. My father told you the truth. He told you I was mute, because I have never spoken evil, nor have I ever spoken to a man to whom it was not permissible for me to speak. He said I was blind because I have never seen evil, nor have I ever looked at a man it was not permissible for me to look at. He said I was crippled because I have never walked to evil, or walked anywhere I was not supposed to go. Stop it. I am the price of your morality. Oh. 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 